Hello YouTube, this is uh, Evan M108 back again with uh, another review. Actually, kind of a comparison between these two machetes. The uh, Gerber Bell Bear Grylls Parang machete and uh, the Cold Steel Bolo machete. I uh, actually today I went out and uh, chopped down a tree with these and um, just compared the differences and how they held up against the tree, which it was just a pine tree, it was also dead, so I mean, uh, it wasn't like the hardest wood, but it had been weathered quite a bit, so it was pretty resilient. Um, get right into it. They both perform rather well. I, uh, I like them both, and they both held up, and uh, nothing bad happened between either of them. Um, I guess I'll get into a few things, um, the things that I found most prevalent while using them. Um, I feel like... The bolo machete definitely cut deeper and took out bigger chunks, but the uh, handle, the material they make the handle out of, the polypropylene, really um, put a lot of shocks into my hand when using it. Like, I could really feel it and my hand started to hurt really bad actually for me. Um, to go to the Gerber, which has got this rubberized handle as well as the orange plastic on the outside, it absorbed more of the shock but with this flail right here how it flays out to keep your hand from uh, jumping out of the handle what happened was uh, a lot of the times it would slip because I was wearing gloves and my pinky would just slam up against it and that also hurt pretty bad so I mean in general I don't think you should be using a machete to chop down a tree anyways it's just that I wanted to collect some firewood and my axe hasn't come in yet so I figured I'd see how well these perform but they both performed well. This one performed well as well, um, well, as with the cold steel. But uh, it didn't bite as deep, and uh, but I was able to swing harder with it, and I think easier because the handle's a lot bigger than the cold steel, so I could actually put both hands on it and get a better purchase as opposed to the cold steel. Which uh, with the lanyard that I have on here, you can get out and then grab the bottom and then have the other hand up here at the top. But uh, there just wasn't as much to uh, hold on to. Um, both of their edges held out pretty well. They're both uh, reasonably still in decent shape. Um, the cold steel is definitely a softer steel. The 1055 um, is pretty soft and uh, the edges roll pretty easily. I don't, you guys probably won't be able to see that, but uh, there's actually quite a bit of rolling on these edges on uh, the cold steel which uh, actually I don't think inhibits the uh, performance of it that bad and uh, if I was a better uh, smith with the edges then I could probably get it cleaned out and uh, put back into a proper edge but I don't worry about it too much um, to go back to the Gerber uh, actually this edge holds on a lot better it's a uh, I think another thing that keeps it holding on to an edge better is it's almost, let's see, if you compare the thicknesses, yeah, I would say that the Gerber is almost two times as thick as the, the cold steel. But then again, this is one third the price of that. This is going to cost you around 30 bucks, and this one cost me around 10 bucks, and they're both good machetes. And I like them both. I like them both for different things. This one I can actually throw, which is definitely a lot of fun. With the tip, it's got a pointier tip. And with the flay right here, it puts a lot of bite into whatever you're having to cut through. So this would work exceptionally good for just clearing out brush. But this one has a more upswept and a lot more belly. So you wouldn't have to cut as hard because a lot of the belly would take care of the cutting. But this one just gives you a lot more to deal with. Like blade length wise, you get almost, I don't know, I guess another six inches almost of blade with this one. Um, but uh, I guess I'll throw up a few pics of me of the chopping down the tree. I didn't get any video because I didn't have my camera with me. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll throw those up, and thanks for watching. I hope this helps. And um, any other questions, comments, just leave them down in the bottom, and I'll get back to you.